an amazing list of sponsors here today um, that uh, I would like to thank very quickly. Um, sorry, I just got lost in my um, One immigration, who we'll hear from shortly, Licenciart, who we will also hear from shortly, and Ushark, who we just heard from. Our next presenter will be Alan Ozeal from Ozeal Law, um, a business and technology law firm that has been very active in this space for a while. They are active in 24 international markets, speak 11 languages, and work in 10 different industries. And Alan will be here to share more about his business and some of the work that they do. Alan Ozeal. Morning, everybody. Um, just before I introduce our next speaker, I just want to say that uh, I'm really, really appreciative and grateful to Miriam Lazarte and the LATAM team for putting on such an amazing event. Um, we've been thrilled to be an incredible partner to uh, both LATAM startups and to a lot of the startups here. And it's just incredible to see the, the growth of a lot of the businesses that started from, from really nothing coming here through Latam startups to including, you know, someone like Diego to build such an incredible company. Our next speaker, uh, Agustina Palmai, uh, is, is from D-Local. D-Local is a, is, is a Euro Uruguayan payment technology company that went public in 2021. At five years old, this company quadrupled its valuation in a matter of months. D-Local connects global enterprise merchants with billions of emerging market consumers in 37 countries across Asia Pacific, the Middle East, Latin America, and Africa. More than 400 global merchants, including e-commerce retailers, SaaS companies, online travel providers, and marketplaces, use D-Local to accept over 700 local payment methods. Um, Agostina leads the corporate development team uh, of D-Local, and uh, they have a focus, she has a focus on Africa, Asia, and Latam. And she leads three pillars, M&A, investments, and additional business development projects, more focused on startups and SMBs. Ladies and gentlemen, Austina. Hi, hello, good morning. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I'm Agustina Palmai. I lead corporate development at the local. So my main role is to analyze potential acquisitions to accelerate our growth and also to do investments to empower our partners. Uh, this month is a pretty special month for us at the local. And I will let me show you a quick video about what was happening a year ago. Use a video, just give me a sec. I don't know if it's not working. Okay, I can tell you. So, um, uh, a year ago, we became the first company in Uruguay to do an IPO and to list on NASDAQ. So, it was a great moment for us. But I, I, the idea of this, of this uh, I want to tell you a little bit about what we do and about our story. So, the local is a fintech company. We started in Uruguay in 2016, and with the only objective of facilitating payments for big merchants. So what we do is that we power local payments in emerging markets, connecting enterprise global companies with billions of users in emerging markets across Latin America, Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. Just to give you a, like a quick idea, so let's say a company from Canada 
wants to launch operations in Latin America. So this company doesn't need to open a local bank account and a local entity in each country to be able to accept payments. This company connects with the local and we do all the payment logistics. But the question is how, how, how we do this. So we localize payments. And when I say that we localize payments is that because we integrate with the main local payments in each country and we offer local support. So that's why we have teams in more than 10 countries. In order to be experts in local payments, we must have local teams with local expertise. So this is our first pillar. We play local. The second pillar is technology. So one platform, one API, and one contract to be able to operate in all the countries at the same time. So with the one day local concept, a global company can accept payments, settle funds globally. This company can send payouts and also issue white label prepaid the virtual and physical debit cards in local currency without the need, again, to manage different players, different payings and payouts processors, numerous entities. So we, are, we do all the payment logistics. And the thing here is that we know that operating in so many countries is not easy. So our main objective is to make the, the integrations easy for our clients. Today, we are in 37 countries. We are integrated into more than 700 payment methods. And we have more than 400 merchants. And, we, and our focus is on emerging markets. So this is the local. So this is our mission, to enable global companies to connect seamlessly with billions of emerging market consumers. And our objective is to make the complex simple by redefining the online payment experience. This is the local. So our idea is to try to, ma to make the complex of emerging markets simple for our clients. But OK, the local, the local origins. The local started, or the idea of the local started in June 2015 with a team of 15 in Montevideo, Uruguay, a country with 3.5 million. So since day one, we knew that our strategy couldn't be just Uruguay. We needed to focus on, on, on a larger market. And that's how we noticed at that time that we noticed merchants based in Asia willing to sell in Brazil without being able to offer the local payments methods that the Brazilian users were used to pay, such as Boleto Bancario. So this was the, 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 the beginning of our, of our business. So we started in 2016 solving B2B payments for big merchants that wanted to sell in Brazil. And we started focusing on paying, so collecting local payments, connecting payments in local currency in reais, and expatriating those funds to, to, to these merchants that wanted to sell in Brazil without having local presence. And a super important thing here is that in, in this stage, we were very focused on building a good infra payment infrastructure and also with a, uh, with a robust technology platform. Between 2016 and, two, and, two, and 2017, we, through our clients, we noticed that we had a great opportunity to replicate our services in another country. So we started in Argentina, in Colombia, Peru, Bolivia, Mexico. So we started to build this infrastructure not only in Brazil, but in Latin America. And the funny or the interesting part the, uh, thing here is that at that time we thought that just with Latin America, we would be covering all the target market. And the answer is no. So between 2017 and 2018, what, was, what we noticed is, is that what was happening in Latin America was also happening in, in another countries. So our first country outside Latin America was India. We started, we launched uh, operations in 2018. So at that time, on our first year, we had five merchants. And currently, we have 
more than 55 global merchants that wants to that are operating in, in, in India, but without having to, to, to have all, to manage all the relations with acquirers, with local payment methods, with banks. So we do all that processes. And that's it, that's how we started in Brazil, then we went to Latin America, and today we are in emerging markets. And in 2018, we also, we also realized that we, sh we should have local teams to, 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 to be able to offer local support. So let me, let me uh, tell you a little bit about these years with numbers. We, we have given our, our maximum to be able to offer, to offer all, all the solutions to our, to our, to our merchants. And here, the, the, the point here is that for us, execution has always to be from the foundation of a good financial business. That's the thing, that's how we act. When we act, when we execute, we execute on a very conscious way. We have always, always since day one, operated on a conscious way and with a profitable growth. This is how, how, we mad, how we manage and how we act. But, and, and, and in fact, if, if, we, if you analyze our, our, our merchant portfolio, we are not dependent, our business model is not dependent on just one vertical or one industry. We have merchants in more than 10 industries and every single industry is well balanced in our portfolio. So the question is, what else happened in here? What else happened in these six years? So a lot of hard work, a lot of execution. And this is super important because all our execution is connected with the expansion of, of our clients. Again, our main objective is to solve all the payment challenges of our clients. So we accompany the expansion of our clients and that's our guide to grow, the expansion of our clients. And so, I've mentioned some points here. So a, 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 visa, a, a good financial model, a good payment infrastructure, local support, and one thing, and a, a lot, sorry, a lot of execution, but one thing that I can miss is that we had the chance to have great investors. So in 2019, it was a big step for us because we realized that we really needed support to take the company to the next level. And we found perfect partners because they, they, they had, and they still have, because they still accompany us on our, on our expansion, but they have the same, they, they gave us focus, they, we have alignment with them, and they challenge, they challenge us every single day on the great and important decisions and discussions. So this is it. We, we raised our first institutional investment in 2019, and in, and in 2020, we became the first Uruguayan unicorn. 2020, this, is a, this was a big year for us. 2020 was the year where we decided to, to start the process to do an IPO. So it was a year that all the teams were revolutionized. We hired, we hired a CTO, we hired um, a, a new auditors, a general counsel, independent board members. So it was a super tough year for us. But when you, you think about going public, so our main things when, when we thought about doing an IPO was first, being able to enhance the visibility of our business in the market. Second, increase awareness of our brand in our different segments. And third, reinforce our credibility as a solid and reliable partner. These were, these were points super important for us. And the IPO process. So between the moment that we decided to start the process and the moment that, that we start 
uh, on, on, um, on NASDAQ, it was exactly a period of one year. So in one year, all our teams did their best. So they worked a lot. Again, the company was revolutionized. But the thing here that is super, super important for us is that it was a process that we really, we really improved our processes and we really took our company to the next level. And I'm, I'm like repeating and repeating again about execution, but we, we really believe that all, all of this all of this, it was the execution of our teams. So you, we managed to put together a great team with a lot of energy that, that was able to do what I will show you in this picture. So last June, June 2021, again, we became the first company in Uruguay to do an IPO and to list on NASDAQ achieving much more than all the Locust team members could ever imagine about the Locust future. And one thing that the, the, the IPO helped us was to, again, to improve our processes, to uh, take the company to the next level, and super important to be a reliable partner for our, for our, our clients. And what do we see that accompanied us as a team in the past and continues to accompany us today? So I will share some thoughts about what we think on our culture. So these are our cultural principles. First, we move, we change, and we learn. And when I say we move, I have two Two big like examples of, 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 of this. So first, teams. At the local, it's super common, and you, and, and you have several examples of people that started doing something, and today they are doing another thing, like uh, our um, senior VP of sales, he used to be our CTO. Uh, um, we have a, a person that is leading all the expansion, in, in, in South Africa, and he used to be an accounting. So we believe that all that different experience, experiences and different uh, knowledge make our team super stronger. The second thing about changes is about countries. So we have a lot of examples of, of, uh, in, in our team that started living in Uruguay and now they live in Israel or in San Francisco or in Cape Town. So we are, and, and to give you like a personal example, I was born in El Salvador. I'm from Argentina. I lived many, many years in Brazil and I'm based in Mexico City. So this is the local. We are a mix of cultures and experiences. Second, we are doers, we are builders, and we are team players. We do not people what to do. We do ourselves. Again, execution. We understand the importance of getting results. We value the importance of execution. And we understand that building is a long-term challenge. We're brave, so we deliver for our customers. We do everything if we have to resolve payments for our clients. So it's all about customers, customers, and customers. No matter what is being done, it's always thinking about the impact on the customers. We take risks to get things done to our customers, and we always, always deliver. We don't surrender when things get tough. We continue to push ahead. This is our culture, this is our DNA. So we understand risks, and we learn to manage them not to be managed by them. We make uh, and own our own decisions. So we are optimistic about our ability to be better every single day. We are innovative. So again, if, uh, if, uh, here are some examples of big clients for us that they came with some needs and we delivered. We do everything if they need, if, if a company says, okay, I need to, 
I, I want to open operations in, some, in, in a country that we are not currently uh, operating, we start operating in that country. And I, would, I, I, I want to, to mention something here, is that we do always a lot of focus. So yeah, we started in Brazil, then we, we went to Latin America, and today we are on emerging markets. And th that's our focus, emerging markets. So this is the local. So we, we execute. We don't, we, we don't accept a no as an answer. In fact, we have a, many of our current clients told us no many times. And we have one example of, of a company that told us, uh, that it told us no more than 20 times. And they are our current cl clients. So on each no, we learned how to be better and we gained that client. So again, our customers are our, our best references. They, they see the, be the benefit of having a partner with a one-stop shop that can, that can solve all the payments problems or all the payments challenges in emerging markets. So this is it, this is the local. We are customer obsessives. We are tech builders, we are doers and fighters. And this is our, this is our DNA. This is, is how, how we work every single day. And I, I really hope that all this story helps to the creation of new ideas, new companies, because what we say in, at, at the local is that we execute. That's our guide, that's what we do. So thank you so much. This is our story and thanks again.